Welcome back to Kinzer's Key and happy belated Poinsettia Day. Poinsettia Day falls every year on December 12th. Hmm. Now you know. It really is our favorite time of year and we're super lucky to have you joining us for yet again another cocktail adventure. Which brings us to the Poinsettia. Poinsettias are always around during Christmas so it only makes sense to make a cocktail to honor them. Let's start with some history. Let's. The Poinsettia. Otherwise known as the Winter Rose has been a holiday staple since the 1700s with Franciscan friars in Mexico using them in Christmas celebrations. Parts of the plant have been used in dyes and medicines and were introduced to the U.S. by Joel Robert Poinsett. Poinsett? Poinsettia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were brought from the Taxco region in Mexico to South Carolina However, they weren't called poinsettias until the 1830s. Now the first poinsettia cocktail someone made for me consisted of cranberry juice cocktail, Cointreau, and champagne. But I've been making them differently ever since. I guess for some reason or another, it needed some more, I don't know, Christmas. So since we're at the keep, this is a perfect opportunity to swap out the Cointreau for Grand Marnier and add gin. That's right, St. George Terroir Gin is back and you might just feel like you're sipping on a Christmas tree. And you'll get more lit. Let's make it. Have a poinsettia with me, drink the cocktail, not the plant. Do -do 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 -do. Pour it all in a champagne glass and do your Christmas dance. Lisa say Nick, but you gotta be in that bag, yeah. I got a rack, rack, some The beautiful poinsettia cocktail. This cocktail is reminiscent of a cranberry mimosa. Delicious, but with an added dash of Christmas magic. So exciting. And you can build it in any glass you'd like, but we're of course going to use a champagne glass. And we're gonna start by using a reverse garnish. What? Yes, a reverse garnish. We're gonna put the garnish in first because the cranberries are going to look gorgeous as they float to the top. Let's add them. Then let's grab our pearl luster dust. She's back. I like to use the trident end of my bar spoon. Awkward reach. It's the only thing that kind of fits in there. So let's add a heavy pinch of that to the bottom of the glass. Three magical taps. It looks like snow. Then we'll move to an ounce of our pure cranberry juice. If you want a sweeter cocktail, you can of course use cranberry juice cocktail, but I really recommend the pure cranberry juice. It gives a nice tart bite to the cocktail that you lose if you use cranberry cocktail juice. Say that five times. Okay, so one ounce. If you want to add more, add more. Less, add less. Whatever you like but an ounce is just fine. Right into the bottom of the glass. Look how beautiful. It looks like a present, doesn't it? It's time for some Grand Marnier. If you don't know about Grand Marnier, it's kind of a must have. It's a French orange liqueur with cognac, so you get a little bit of kick with your sweet. So let's add a half ounce right in the glass here. Isn't this the cutest little bottle you ever did see? Great for gifts under the tree. Just a thought. I love the smell of Grand Marnier. Mm. You can also use Cointreau if you don't have access to this, or even triple sec. It's almost done, I'm getting excited to drink this. Next comes a half ounce of St. George Terroir Gin. This gin smells like Christmas, tastes like Christmas, partly because it has Douglas firs, fennel, and juniper berries in it. And it's just my favorite. So as always, add your favorite, but a little goes a long way, so mind your consumption. That's why we're only adding a half ounce. And remember, the Grand Marnier is already in there, so it is already a little boozy. I know it's Christmas, but 
It's really hard not to get wrapped up. And finally, we'll top everything off with champagne. We're going to be using Fréjeanette, Cava. I just like drier champagnes, Proseccos, and sparkling wines. So whatever you use, fill it up to the top and make sure it's as cold as you can possibly get it. We opened this one yesterday, so we'll see. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Beautiful. And that's the poinsettia. There she is. Here.